Hello, Marlon. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How was your Friday? Uh, it was uh, great. Uh, it was um, uh, relaxed. A very uh, relaxed uh, Friday. Um, a, li a little of movement. Poquito de movimiento. Yes, yes, yes. A little of movement, but it, it was not tired. It was okay. relaxed. Okay. Well, that, it is good to know that. And what about the days off? I mean, September 15th, November 2nd. Do you work those days? No, no, no. Uh, I, I don't. Okay. I rest. Okay, that's good. What about um, Semana Santa vacations? Mm, vacations yes, I, during I the have, week. You have to work. I have all, all the all the week all the week. Yes, all the week. So that, that's I have I have vacations all the holy holy week Semana Santa. Mm -hmm. Holy week. All the week I have all the week of Augusto, August. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, you you have to work. August. Excuse me. You work or you have vacations? You, I, I have vacations. Oh wow, that's fine. That, that, well, I have, that... I have vacations all the week in this in December. Uh, uh, abarcando, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Covering, covering uh, twenty four and thirty nine all the week. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah, we we have that those those week uh, those weeks, mm -hmm. but we don't have. Uh, uh um yearly vacation sorry january yearly uh, yearly anual. yes yes you don't have yearly vacation of course no because you, have. you have the other yes like yes like holidays like, like special dates right okay yes. so, so so that's it well so it, it is good that you have time for your family for your friends and it is good because when you have yearly vacations there are some enterprises which uh, don't give the complete vacations, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. But uh, currently, uh, uh, in my job, I have those benefits. Yes, well, it is good to know that because not all the jobs, uh, not all, not in all, all kind of jobs, you, you can enjoy that. Okay, so good to know. Thank you, Marlo. Very good. Perfect. Okay, we have Veronica. Good evening. How was your Friday? Good evening, teacher. Nice. Nice. Everything nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. Do you work tomorrow, Veronica? Yes. Okay. Until noon or until five or six? No. Oh, no, no. Okay. That's good. That is good. Because you have like in the afternoon you have free time, okay? Thanks, thanks. We have also Diego. Hello, my friend. Good evening, Diego. Good evening, teacher. How was your Friday, man? I feel that day too long, teacher. <laughs> like eternity. <I> very <laughs> busy. Yeah. Okay, so like eternity. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 tomorrow you have a free day, so. You can yes. wake up or get up late, do a lot of things that you no. normally don't do. I can week. do that. Um, I have a lot of things to do tomorrow to do. Okay. morning. Okay. Yeah, me too. Me too. I have to take advantage of the time. Otherwise, uh, not, I will not work, but I have a, a lot of things to do. I yep. I will get moved with, with my wife. Okay. Remember, if you don't do the things, they're going to be increasing in like accumulating. Okay, so that, that, that's, that's why you have to do it one by one. Okay, that's fine. And um, what about Andrea? Hello, Andrea. Hi, teacher. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. Tell me about your Friday. Good um, Friday, bad Friday, normal Friday. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Nice. Okay, tell me, Andrea, who is the first person who, who arrives at your workplace? The first person. ¿Cuál es la primera persona que, 
Llega. ¿Qué es, teacher? Que llega. Ah. Uh -huh. eh, the manager. The manager. Uh -huh. Ok, nice. Uh -huh. Let's listen to Marlon. Who is the first person? In the morning, the first person uh, to arrive. Excuse me, teacher. I, I didn't I didn't hear the question. Okay, the first person who arrives at your workplace. Um sometimes uh, well sometimes it's me sometimes. Uh, sometimes oh, very uh, punctual person. Good. Yeah, sometimes is the 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 production manager mm -hmm. and, and he has the keys ah, he so opens. Yeah, that's one yeah. of the reasons. Uh, okay. Our boss uh, generally uh, he, he is not the, the first person. It's not the first person. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the bosses uh, some, uh, usually arrives at uh, eight o'clock and we open at seven. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, oh, uh, always is uh, someone, um, alguien delegado o algún encargado. Yeah, a person in church, in church. A person in church of the keys and he opens okay. or she opens. The janitor, well, sometimes the janitor, uh, sometimes a consejo, sometimes. Okay. Yeah, but 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 in my job, uh, it, it's a uh, part of your team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, what about Mercy? Hello, Mercy. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, tell me who is the first person who arrives at your workplace? The first person is manager. Is the manager? Okay, yeah, that 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 is. Yeah, la encargada de llaves. Okay, ah, okay, like the, like the janitor. Okay, thank you. What about Dorita? Good evening, Dorita. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Okay, Dorita, tell me who is the first person who arrives. At the workplace. Eh, la de mantenimiento. Okay, maintenance. The maintenance. Okay, thank you. Veronica, what about you? Eh, manager sales. sales okay, sales. sales. Yes, sales, sales. manager. Mm -hmm. Sales manager. Okay, that's fine. What about Claudia? Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Did you listen to the question? Escuchaste la pregunta? Yes. Okay, tell me. Um, the engineer. The engineer, okay. That, that's part of your job, okay. Um, Diego, what about you? Well, I think you are the first one <laughs> to arrive at uh, the workplace. No, I don't know how you know I, I you, work you, at home. But and I think that that everybody gets to work at the same time. No, but we're well, really. <laughs> but the question in your case may be different. Who is the first person to wake up at home? Um, the grandpa. <laughs> oh, really? What time? Yeah, he wakes up at. At 6.30 or 7. Okay, 6.30 or 7. Okay, fine. Uh, thank you. What about Carmen? Okay. Tell me, Carmen. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, the first person is the security and order line. Okay, that, 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 that's fine. The security. And Susie. Then, yeah, Carla. Hello, Susie. Uh, hi, good evening. Good no evening. Sé de qué está Sorry. And the first person to arrive at your workplace. La primera persona que me encuentro en mi trabajo. Arrive es llegar. Eh, La primera persona que llega. En tu trabajo. En mi tra eh, bueno, el super es el gerente o la seguridad, security. The manager or security. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. Okay. Fine. Carla, what about you? Tell me. Is the same? Um igual. Um, the same, okay. It's the same case. Al, ¿cómo se llama? al security. Okay, security. Y, y, um, manager. 
manager. Okay, thank uh, you. Fine. Nice. Hello. Hello. Okay, I think he's uh like he's going to uh, she's going to connect later. Diana. Hello, Dianita. Okay, she's going to connect uh, later. Well, my friends, today is Friday and the body knows it. So I'm pretty sure that you have to work. Well, most of you have to work tomorrow. So to remember one more day and you're going to rest. And for the ones who, for the ones who don't work on Saturday, good for you. Okay, so we're going to start with this class and the topic is simple present versus present continuous okay so this is like um, a comparison between the two grammar structures and we're going to mention some details um yesterday i'll told you like uh in a brief way um like some characteristics but first of all uh, i'm going to i'm going to he present you like um, an image about uh, adverbs. Así que quiero que recuerden un par de adverbs. <laughs> Bless you, Denita. Salud. Thanks. Okay. okay. Hello. Are you okay? Todo bien? Mm, yes. Flu? Gripita? No. Yes. Es, mm, son como efectos secundarios de la Side. vacuna. Side effect. Falta de tequila. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I, I'm, I'm sure of that. I'm really pretty sure. Se llama side effects. Or secondary effects. But the side effects son efectos secundarios. Um, after you drink tequila, you have side effects. Okay, then it's so. That's good. Ahorita no. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, right now, yes. Okay, so side effects. Um, I'm going to present you uh, an image about adverbs. Traten de recordar algunos adverbios, okay? I'm going to ask to you. Okay. So let's see, Diana, you're the first and then Andrea. Beautifully. Beautifully. Okay. Andrea and Susie. Inside. Mm -hmm. Susie and Carmen. Grimly. Mm -hmm. Carmen and Veronica. Happily. Okay. Veronica and Weekly. Mercy. Thank you. Mercy, Claudia. Accidental. Okay. Yeah, accidentally. Accidentally. Thank you. Uh, Claudia Marlon. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, Marlon and Diego. Uh, teacher, I'm sorry uh, about what uh, you need the bird that verbs. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you in a, in a couple of seconds. Te puedo mostrar la imagen, creo que no la viste, no problem. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, sí, la disculpa, teacher, es que no, ahora sí me estamos bombardeando ahí con algo de trabajo, entonces. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Pero igual, yo, yo igual me enfoco ahorita en la clase. Yes, yes, I know, I know. But I'm going to ask you in advance. Te voy a preguntar a veces con anticipación, okay? Sí. Diego. You. Okay, you're welcome. Diego and Dora. Maybe you remember a, a, okay. another. Quickly, happily. Mm -hmm. Quickly, happily. Good. Mm. Okay, thank you. Dora and Carla. Happy. Happy. Creo que es happily. Porque happy es adjetivo. Okay, happily. And Carla. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see. Thank you. Here we have some of the adverbs. Y como pueden ver, eh, no todos los adverbs terminan en LI. Aquí tenemos peacefully. Tenemos quietly. Pero también tenemos, por ejemplo, inside. Eh, or rather, never. Okay. Son diferentes tipos de adverbios. Los adverbios no solo son los que terminan en LI, que es mente, actualmente, realmente, mm. Eh, mm, rápidamente, ¿qué? Todo, sino que hay diferentes tipos de adverbios que ya les voy a mostrar un par de esos. Okay? This is just like a, 
like a, a brief review, una revisión como que breve para que captemos que los adverbios hay de diferentes tipos. Okay? So, here I have some others. Try to remember some of them. Traten de recordar algunos de estos. Les doy exactly. seis segundos. Falling, falling. Tranqui, tranqui. Bien, mm. está activada. <laughs> ok, no problem. <laughs> ok. Ok, good, Dianita. Tell me, estás emocionada, mujer. Fine. Perdón, no, no me había fijado que lo tenía activado. Finally, and... <laughs> Ay, ya ni me acuerdo de ninguno. Finally. Ya, ya ves, por estar emocionada. Ok. Diego, what about you and Susie? Emptily and freely. Ok. Fine. Thank you. Susie and Carmen. Faithfully. Ok. Mm -hmm. Se refiere a mí. Ok. Thank you. Carmen and Veronica. Leafly. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Veronica and Mercy. Gently. Mm -hmm. Gently. Okay, I think it's gently. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, Mercy, Claudia. Of course. Thanks. Uh, Mercy, uh, Claudia. Dearly. Mm -hmm. Claudia and Carito. Ese iba a decir yo. <laughs> mm -hmm. El otro es, uh, no sé cómo se pronuncia, pero es como fully. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Fully. Mm -hmm. eh, sería F U L L I G yes, fully, 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 okay. Carito, hello, Carito. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good I'm evening. Sorry. Okay, te perdono los pecados, no problem. Okay, so tell me. Eh, Alcanza a ver una que decía Dougley. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Marlon en Carla. Uh, generously. Good one. Carla and Dorita. Que creo que no me participó. Yo vi friendly, darly, y exactly. And exactly. And exactly. Good, Carla. Three. That's fine. Uh, Dorita. Mostly. Okay. Good. And Edgar. What about Edgar? Okay. Yeah. Okay, relax, relax, no problem. Okay, uh, these are verbs. So, estos sí son verbos que terminan en LA. O sea que todos son mente, especialmente, exactamente, and a lot of this. But we're not going to focus all uh, just on this one, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, este solo es para que ustedes den una, ¿qué? Una, una, an open view, ¿verdad? Una vista amplia, ¿ok? Aquí vamos a entrar en materia con esto, que son adverbs and its types. Um, y eso es una, una, quizás una rama de los adverbios. No son todos, not all of them. Uh, do you remember adjectives are the ones that we use to describe or, or qualify a person, a place, or a situation? Entonces los adjetivos los utilizamos para describir personas, eh, cosas, eh, lugares o situaciones. Por ejemplo, interesting, it's, a, it's an interesting meeting, una, una reunión interesante. Um, it's, a, it's a nice place, it's a boring, it's a boring moment, un momento aburrido. A handsome man, un hombre atractivo, a beautiful woman, una mujer hermosa, and an ugly guy, un chico feo. So, those are adjectives, esos son adjetivos. Okay, but adverbs are, well, a bad verb, an adverb is a word which qualifies everything except a noun and pronoun. Entonces, eh, de, cualifica, verdad, todo a excepción de un sustantivo o un pronombre. Pero antes de eso, vamos a ver los tipos. Tenemos adverb of time, adverb, adverb of place, adverb of manner, and adverb of frequency. You know a lot of, of, of these ones. For example, an adverb, uh, let's see here, uh, you're, Veronica, you're going to help me, okay? Denote the adverb. The adverb that denotes time or period is called adverb of time. Thank you. So here we have uh, words related to time. Today, tomorrow, yesterday, all my troubles in so far away, you know, 
Okay, ago, soon, no, eh, once, since. Entonces, eso se refieren al tiempo. Por ejemplo, I'm going to work, uh, I'm working tomorrow. I'm having a party um, like today or yesterday I had, I had a party. Entonces, son adverbios de tiempo. Vamos con adverb place. Carmen, could you help me? The adverb denotes. The adverb den denotes. That the denotes place. the place. That denotes the place of occurrence is called as adverb of place. Mm -hmm. Called adverb of place. Entonces, se refiere a, a lugares. Eh, like near, above, below, out, or away, there. ¿Verdad? Entonces, también son adverbios, ¿verdad? And we have adverb of manner. Tenemos los adverbios eh, que están acá. Susi, ¿me ayudas? The adverb that denotes. Of course. Uh, the adverb that denotes the manner of occurrence is called adverb of manner. Uh -huh. Es la manera. ¿Cómo se hacen las cosas? Correctly, roundly, cleverly, loudly, neatly. ¿Verdad? Correctamente. Eh, que silenciosamente. Like ¿verdad? me. Yes, like you, my dear Susie. Okay, so in here we have adverb of frequency. Diego, could you help me please with this description? Yeah, sure, teacher. Adverb of frequency. This adverb denotes frequency or number. Mm -hmm. Examples, thirdly, secondly, partly, sometimes. Thank you. So in this case, welcome. fine. In this case, we uh, we know some all adverbs of frequency. For example, always, never, usually. Aquí entra también estos adverbs que ya los conocemos muy bien, verdad? Eh, eh, tenemos hardly ever. Okay. So those are part or belong to adverbs of frequency, verdad? Eso es como para tener como una Uh, like an open view, una, una, una vista amplia, abierta acerca de los adverbs, porque ya no vamos a tocar ese tema, solo para que tenga una idea, ¿verdad? Los adverbios normalmente pueden ir al inicio o al final de las oraciones, ¿verdad? Pueden variar, obviamente, pero ahí entra algo que se le llama sintaxis. La sintaxis va relacionado al orden de las palabras y si cambia un orden, ya modifica todo. Entonces, sí, es una cuestión bien amplia, about syntax. So these are the adverbs. Vamos a utilizar algunos de estos, ¿ok? Y eso para que tengan en cuenta mmm, algunas palabras cuando, porque gramática, honestamente, to be honest, grammar sometimes is boring, but depends on the, uh, the teacher who teaches, right? Depende también del profesor como lo enseño. But I'm not going to, to, to explain grammar, but it is not a bad idea to check uh, this. No es malo, pues, darle una revisión a eso, ¿ok? Ok, we continue. Now, before we uh, get into this matter, I'm going to check the attendance list. And the question will be, should all beauty pigeons be banned? Why, why not? Si los concursos de belleza, los desfiles y todo eso, deberían de ser baneados, como dicen, eliminados. Okay? Uh, you tell me. But first, I'm going to um, start with the attendance list. Okay. Uh, So tell me if you are there, Ana Mercedes. Yes. Hello. No, say hello. Okay. And ah. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Andrea. I'm here. Thank you. Carmen. Hello, teacher. Hello. Mm. Claudia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carito. Okay, Carito, I know you're there. Christian. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Christian. Alex, are you there? Present. Nice. Diana. Present. Thank you. Diego. Present. Pandora. Present. Edgar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Helen. Present. Thank you very much, Carla. Present. Good, Kelvin. No, Kelvin, no, Kevin. Well, I think Kevin is not here. Um, we go with Marlon. If you are there. Present, teacher. Thank you. 
So see. Mm, so see, Veronica. Hi. Present teacher. Okay, so. Um, teacher, present. Okay, so see. Okay, no problem. No, caro. El, el audio se me había trabado. Lo okay, siento. okay. Thank you, Caro. Yes. No te preocupes. Aquí estás con todos los poderes. Um, permítame. Okay, so I'm um, having the first, the first, the first. Uh, opinion of this and uh, Carito are you ready or you need time yeah, Carita, me llegó de, oh, yeah, me <laughs> more time please more time one more time Carmen ready dear Carmen Rene Calderon <laughs> uh, I think uh, no as, no ma, as long as it is so not only to highlight the physical. Okay, highlight. Cuando decimos highlight, thank you. Okay, uh, more opinions coming or that, that that's your point? Solo eso. Okay, thank you. That, okay, uh, highlight, uh, también se le dice highlighter a los marcadores que utilizamos para sombrar algún texto. Verde, rosadito, ¿verdad? Entonces, highlight es resaltar. Okay. Cuando algo resalta, cuando como que algo eh, le damos prioridad. Okay. So, entonces, highlighter es a los marcadores que ustedes han utilizado en, en folletos y cositas así. So, highlight, thank you. No, Highlander, that's another. Okay. So, highlight. And thank you, Carmen. As long as uh, it doesn't highlight uh, like the beauty, like the physical okay? appearance, that, that's your point. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what about Veronica? Yes, wow. yes, because they put women to compete for buying physical aspects that your reality is not what's made it about human being. Okay, or maybe in the, that, um, let's see, those events are not focused on the, on the abilities, right? Or skills, okay, that's your point, right? They, they prefer to evaluate more physical appearance. Okay, that, that's your point. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, good. Um, let's see. Susie, are you ready? Yes, because of the culture that we are living in daily. Yes, I think that it is not adequate firstly in my point of view it does not contribute anything good to society okay okay good it doesn't contribute to anything positive you said by the side of women right because we're talking about women especially and but also there are some beauty pageants and that are for men right and well, we're going to talk about some of those details as, as you have mentioned. Thank you. Carito, you're ready. So quickly, que rápido. Yes. Es que ya lo tenía hecho, solo que no lo compraba. Está bien, rápido. Está bien, está bien. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, after Caro, we're having Edgar. Okay, Carito. Okay, for my point of of you yes because this contest do don't know have any any benefit benefit is see sí, beneficial yep. yes it is even more un, unnecessary wasted for money and time okay okay thank you not uh benefits or not direct benefits okay for those competitions right Thank you, Karen. Okay, uh, I'm receiving all your ideas. Remember, this is like a brainstorming. Esto es casi como una lluvia de ideas, pero 
con opiniones concretas. ¿okay? Brainstorm. Brain, brainstorm es lluvia de ideas. Okay? So, uh, thank you. Um, Edgar, are you ready? Then, Christian. Yes, teacher. Please, my friend, go ahead. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, yes, because the truth is that they take a woman as an object of excitement and entertainment. Okay. Okay. Ah. Another key word, entertainment. Okay, thank you, Edgar. Okay, what about Christian? And then Diana. I do not uh, think so. Uh, it is good to know the representation of beautiful that each country has. Okay, it's a representation, okay? Uh, it doesn't yes. mean that that all the, the the women in that country are in that way, but uh, it represents, as you say, it represents parts of the tradition, culture, and but mm -hmm, there are different aspects to be evaluated, right? Okay, thank you, Christian. You say that, and Diana, what about you, Diana? In my opinion, yes, because the beauty is standard that most of the contests have. They use the woman as an object. Okay, they use uh, like a woman or women as objects. Okay, well, yes, uh, remember that we are uh, taking all those opinions and I like to hear that uh, you have like different opinions and that, that's good that that is, well, so in that case, uh, this doesn't get the, uh, like um, boring, no se pone aburrido porque se escucha diferente opinión. Thank you. Okay, we continue later with this topic. We have this, okay? I'm going to give you, okay, eight minutes. No, no, eight seconds. Come on, minutes, no, eight seconds, okay? You go here, my dear friends. Okay, I think you are more than ready because you are so intelligent. ¿Verdad, Carito? And Carla, you are the first. And then Edgar. Good afternoon, Raúl. Raúl, como dicen los gatos en el techo. Thank you. Edgar. And then Carmen. Uh, good afternoon, Ryan. Ryan. Ah, okay, yes, there is a Ryan. Yes, te voy a decir mentiroso, but no. Yes, there <laughs> is a Ryan. Salvando su de Ryan. Okay, Carmen, then Helen. What the first thing? What's the first? Mm, what's the first thing? Good. Helen, then Alex. Afternoon. Afternoon. Mm -hmm. Copioncita, Helen. Okay, solo eso. <laughs> solo eso, teacher. Okay. Alex, then Susie. Right now. Oh, right now. Así se llama una canción de Van Halen. Mm, good, good song. Okay, um, Susie, right, Susie and Veronica. What are you doing right now? Mm, okay. I'm teaching a class. Thank Usually. You. Usually, an adverb of frequency. Good. Merci and Diego. I can hear you. I am cleaning. Mm -hmm. Nice. Diego and Andrea. Okay, I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. Yeah, what a complete. Good. Andrea then Carito. Planning a video conference. Video conference, yes. Planning. Nice, Andrea. Carito and, and Claudia. Conference in the meeting room. Okay, thank you, Claudia and Marlo. Mm, ya todas me las ganaron, todas mm. las que no. <laughs> Igual solo eso de, de Ryan, oh, Raúl, okay. conference. 
Raúl, como los gatos. Ok, thank you. Marlon. Eh, yes, eh, I, 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 could, I could scan the idea. They are talking about the conference. Eh, so conference is a word. So. <laughs> ajá, ajá. La vieja confiable. Ok, nice. Eh, thank you. So here we have a conversation between Ryan and Raúl. And here we, you can see the present continuous that is are doing and planning is doing um, are getting okay and and that's it también están eh, in bold está en negrita este usually que es un usually es un adverbio utilizamos los adverbios de frecuencia con el presente simple porque se refiere a rutinas o actividades pero ok let's see right now significa ahora mismo ya yeah. Right now significa ahora mismo. Y cuando alguien está exigente, lo dice, dice de esta manera. Right here, right now, que también es un álbum de Van Halen, un en vivo, entonces significa aquí mismo, ahora mismo, o aquí y ahora mismo. Especialmente cuando lo, lo están regañando. So, be careful. Right here, right now. So, here we have, um, good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Brian. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. San Salvador. Es una pregunta. What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or at 7.30. It depends on, yeah, depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up uh, the letters. Necesito que vean y que me digan oraciones en presente simple. Sabemos que el presente continuo es el que tiene um, ING. Okay. Let's see. Veamos ahí. Sigan sus corazones. ¿Qué les dice? Carmen. And then after Carmen Christian. Okay. Uh, what time do you usually get yes. to your workplace? Esta Carmen si te utilizo usually de referencia. Bueno, le. Hmm. Estratégica. Christian. And then Veronica. Uh, I usually arrive. Mm -hmm. Mm, la regan uh, decir eso del usual. No. <laughs> no, está bien. Yes, it's correct, Teresa. It's correct. Thank you. Uh, okay. At 6.30. Yes, at 6.30. Perfect. Um, who's next? Who's next? Veronica, right? They are get ready for the covers mm -hmm. in meeting. Get? Tiene... No, getting. <laughs> getting. Ah, they are getting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Le dije, there they are get. Really, no le dije hearing. Eh, pero no es esta, ¿verdad? No es esta oración, no. Sí, es... pero no usando el ING. Mm, pero no se vale porque aquí está con ING, debemos de ser con esto. <risa> ah, Verónica, eso es tricky, ya te vi. No. The, conf vaya, the conference with the new things in El Salvador. Porque no tiene ING. No tiene verbo acá. Ah, vale. La conferencia con el nuevo presente. <risa> mm, sí, pero eso ya sería... De hecho, toda esa oración es un adverbio, pero igual. Verónica, sos malía, ya te vi. Ok. Ok. Think about it. I'm going to ask you later. Te pregunto después. Susi, and then Diego. Check my email. Tomada de routine. Yes. Diego, and then Dorita. Ok, my first activity is to pick up the letters. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Eh, Dorita. And Andrea. And Dorita, I think you are drinking coffee. Okay, Andrea, and then Marlon. I am playing, plan a video conference. Mm -mm, porque es planning. Ay. Entonces con ING es presente continuo. Ya, Andrea. No. 
No, vaya, tranquila. Ya te voy a resolver todas las dudas de tu corazón. Tranquila. Marlon. Eh, eh, creo que la pregunta de What's the first thing you do está en presente, en presente simple. Yes. Ok, thank Porque you. ahí hay poquitas. Entonces ya, ya nos están dejando sin opciones. Ah, compañero. Ajá, ok. Thank you. <risa> Todo lo que yo soy. Thank you, Marlon. Todo lo que yo soy Ray ahorita. Esto. Es sale este. más fácil pasar las esas que tienen ING y decirla. Está más factible. Se va a confundir más. Con que no me pudieron decir una así en presente simple. Ok. Um, veamos lo siguiente. Las que están en rojo es presente continuo. Ahora, let's see. Um, esta es presente simple. Digamos que este, aunque sea verb también. También tenemos esta, la que me dijeron. También esta. Es this. También esta es depends, porque es tercera persona. Y esta. Lo que está en... Todas las dijeron. Uh -huh. No, esta no. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Esta no. Verónica también yes, la dijeron. Sí, no. ¿Quién sí. me la dijo? ¿Quién me la dijo? Diego la dijo. Diego la dijo. Sí. La ah, pues está perdonada, Diego. Uh -huh. Teacher, ponga es cierto, atención Diego, en la clase. Diego, Diego la dijo, sí. Ah, y usted también sigue indicaciones. Bien, entonces aquí tenemos dos puntos. Lo rojo, lo que está en rojo, siempre termina en ING. Entonces vamos a tener después un, una worksheet en la cual vamos a poner ING y en la otra no. ¿Verdad? Entonces esa... Solo para que tengamos una idea. Present continuous, el continuous siempre es ING y el presente simple como nosotros lo conocemos. Ok. I need you to have a screenshot. Necesito una, ¿cómo se llama? Captura de pantalla aquí porque vamos a practicarla. Esta. Si hay palabras nuevas, aparte de right now, me la dicen. Our es nuestro. Our es nuestro. Ready es, eh, ready, listo. First thing, primera cosa. And then, I, first, pick up, pick up, es como, pues, recoger, ¿verdad? Levantar, recoger. Mm -hmm. Ok, Alex, thank you for telling me. Ok, my friends, we are going to practice a little bit y después continuamos con una actividad un poquito diferente, ¿ok? Um, de ahí se dan cuenta, solo tenemos rutinas sencillas, ¿ok? Let's see, vamos a ver automáticamente, randomly, a ver con quién les toca. Ok, see you. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What, that, what time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first uh, team do you? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, our... I, I see what time do you usually get to your, your workplace? What's the first 
flirting you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing uh, I do is to check my email. And you? Well, you're right. I read it at 7 or 7.30. It depends on... The first thing I do is check my email. And you? Well, I read at the 7 or 7 30, it depends on traffic. My first act. The first thing I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7 30, it depends on traffic. My first activity is, is to pick up the letters. Okay. Over to Ryan. Uh, oh, you see to Ryan. Ryan. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Letters. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team do, doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to... To your workplace, what's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 7.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you? Well, I, I arrive at 7 o'clock or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up to the letters. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting Hello, Susi. Hi. Bien. ¿Encontré un poquito complicado esto ahorita? ¿Confuso? Mm, no, hasta el momento he estado, incluso ahora los, las cositas que nos envió, mm -hmm. las imágenes, estaba practicando casi que durante el día y me ha servido mucho, mucho, mucho. Sí, ya tenés una idea, por, ¿verdad? Un poquito más Sí, más por lo menos la duda de ayer estaba, es que ayer estaba perdido, ¿cómo, cómo es? Pero sí, ya, ya me ubiqué. Ahí vamos. Te ubicaste, ya no estás perdiendo el nombre. Good. No, I ya like no. To hear that. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Ok. So, um, Diana, everything ok? ¿Todo bien, Diana? Mm, that's ok. That's ok. Okay, um, I want to hear some of you, okay? Diana, you start here. Mm, okay. Comienzo con la conversación. Sí, solo va, vamos por partes, okay? And then Susie ah, okay. here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Raul, what, what are you doing right now? Mm -hmm. Susie, uh, then Dorita. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Okay, Dorita, then uh, Diego. Dorita, oh, the conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is your team doing mm -hmm. right Our now? Our team doing right now. Yeah, that's it. Diego, could you help me reading this? I'm sorry, my friend. Yes, it is. And then the, Andrea. 
I can hear you. I don't know. I can hear you, Diego. Sorry, teacher. Not a problem. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. They are getting ready for a conference in the meeting room. Wonderful. Andrea, then Carmen. I see. What time do you usually get to your your workplace? What the first thing you do? Okay. And then I, here. Okay, Carmen and Mercy. Sorry, sorry, Carmen. Go ahead. I usually I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. And the first things I do is to check my email and you. Okay. Mercy. Well. Well, arrive at seven or seven. Sherry depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick at the letters. Okay, uh, yeah, thank you, Mercy. Yesterday I explained you present continuous for future. Le explicaba el presente continuous para el futuro. Y aquí vamos, vemos las la, la diferencias. Buenas tardes, Raúl. ¿Qué estás haciendo en este momento o ahora mismo? Buenas tardes, Ryan. Bien, estoy planificando o planeando una videoconferencia o la conferencia con el nuevo equipo en San Salvador. ¿Cuál es, eh, oh, perdón, qué está haciendo nuestro equipo ahora mismo? Sí, esa es. Ellos están, se están alistando para la conferencia en la eh, sala de reuniones. Mm, ya veo. ¿A qué horas usualmente eh, llegas a trabajar? ¿Cuál es la primera cosa que haces? Entonces, ¿se dan cuenta cómo va la conversación? La, la conversación están hablando de qué, qué está pasando y les está comentando que el equipo está trabajando. Mientras ellos están hablando, el equipo está trabajando en la sala de reuniones. Ese es el punto, ¿verdad? Y aquí le dicen, bueno, usualmente yo llego a las 6.30 y la primera cosa que hago es revisar eh, mi email. ¿Y tú? Bien, yo llego a las 7 o 7.30, depende del tráfico. Mi primera actividad es, pues, eh, recoger eh, las, LED, las cartas. Entonces, ¿cuál es mi punto acá? Se dieron cuenta que estaban hablando ellos de rutinas que ellos hacen, que es la primera cosa que hacen, pero también están hablando de qué estaba pasando en este momento. Y lo que estaba pasando en ese momento es que su equipo estaba trabajando en la planificación de la videoconferencia. Ok, entonces son dos actividades. Mientras ellos están hablando, otras están haciendo algo en ese momento. Ahora, eh, para explicarles mejor esto, eh, yo les envié feature, este feature, imagen. Sorry. Uh -huh. sorry. I, Go ahead. I, I just wanna, just wanna say you something. Uh, can you help us with the TH sound? I tried to explain some, some, Mm -hmm. um, classmate, but I'm not good okay, okay, enough. Okay, okay. In on which, that, you know uh, tell I mean. me the the Ryan or Roll for, parts getting. For example, uh, no, no, no. Th. Uh, um, thing. Th. Like thing. Like uh, thing. Thing. Uh -huh. Yes. Thing. Okay. Uh, the th sounds uh, has well uh, at least z or d. Tenemos, podemos hacerlo con Z, con D, pero depende, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, con some I think, think, think. Hay gente que dice I think. I prefer I think. Y en este caso, think, si decimos, ok, I'm going to write some of them. All right. Think. Think. Mm. That. Those, this. Entonces la diferencia es think this, think this, think that. ¿Se recuerdan lo que le dije que mi maestro me ponía think, entonces think that. Estas tienen pronunciación de d, that, those, this. Y estas tienen pronunciación de z, think, think, think. Think, think, okay. Do we have another here? Tenemos otra. No solo think. Pues eso sería, in, básicamente. In 30. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. 30, 30, zeta, zeta, zapato, pizarra. Zapato, zapato, 30, think, think. 
Ok, Theta. Eh, sé que no estamos muy acostumbrados a, a utilizar ese sonido, ¿verdad? Thirty, thirty. Algunos dicen thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, ok. Pero thirty, think, think. Ok. This could be an, the examples de Theta. Y esos, los ejemplos, los examples by pronouncing D. Ok. okay Creo que esto sure. sería, ajá. Ok, esto sería. Thank que, you very much. I really appreciate. No problem. Pero sí que es posible que mejor les traiga un par de ejemplos. Diferente con eso. Ya voy, ya voy a ver qué, qué les traigo, ¿verdad? En otra clase, ok. Uh, you're welcome, my friends. So, I... Voy a ahondar en algunos de esos sonidos iniciales y finales ya que me dieron esta idea. Okay. Okay. Present simple versus present continuous. Ayer vimos esto. Ahora le vamos a entender mejor. Aquí tenemos present simple. Bien. Voy a necesitar que me lea mmm, las. Vamos a ver. Me va a leer esta. Mmm, mmm. Claudia, puedes leerme esta oración. Y esta oración que pueden, ven la pantalla completa. Sí, me imagino, ¿verdad? Y... Sí, teacher, se ve completa. Thank you, thank you. Y me lees acá, Alex. Ok, Claudia, vamos. Wales. Wales. Wales, Wales. Wales. Live in the ocean. Yes, uh, Alex, I am. Ok, aquí sería, I am teaching an English lesson. Si se dan cuenta, aquí dice, las eh, ballenas viven en el océano. Y aquí estoy enseñando, ¿verdad? Una clase de inglés o una lección de inglés. Ok, vamos con la siguiente. Um, help me, Dorita. A dog. Me lees acá, Dorita, y me va a ayudar Carla con you are. Aquí, you are. Ok, Dorita. A dog has... For mm -hmm. um, Carla, you are. You are watching a video. A video, ok. Dice un a perro. Uh -huh. Un perro tiene cuatro piernas o patas, digamos. Y aquí dice tú estás mirando un video. Si se dan cuenta, estos son como hechos. Re generalmente reales verdaderos y aquí están describiendo una actividad que se está haciendo en este momento. Okay. Vamos a ver otro. Um, Kevin, ¿me ayudas aquí? It rains. It rains a lot in winter. Winter. Mm -hmm. Winter. winter mm -hmm. And Edgar, ¿me ayudas acá? Steve. Ok. Steve is washing his hair. Steve está lavando su cabello. Vamos con la última. ¿Me ayuda Diana? Water boils. Water boils at 100 Celsius. Celsius. Okay. Thank you. Veronica, could you help me? She is taking. She is taking her dog for a walk. Excelente. El agua hierve a los 7 grados Celsius. Aquí dice ella... Eh, Lleva a su perro a pasear o está llevando a su perro a pasear. Entonces, ese es el punto. Que aquí no lleva ING y aquí sí lleva ING. Aquí es un hecho general y este es algo, está describiendo algo que está pasando en este momento. Básicamente lleva ING. ¿Ok? Después vamos a ver esto con lo de las preguntas, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos otros ejemplos, ¿verdad? Pero igual, creo que lo vamos a estudiar otro momento para no ver tanta grama, ¿ok? Ya las preguntas es mucha variz. Perdón, perdón. ¿Qué dices? Es una broma. Ah, pues. <ríe> ok. Eso sí, disparada. Ok. Should all beauty pigeon, pigeons, pigeons uh, be bent? Why, why not? Let's listen to... Vamos a ver quién me va a dar su opinión en este caso. Marlon. Are you ready or I don't know if, if you can? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Teacher. Okay, and then Dora, please. Okay, I do not think it is necessary. Mm -hmm. Since in fact, there is a tradition with those events and okay. it is an opportunity to improve to the women that participate. Uh, I think it's puntual. 
Junto, digo, puntualmente. Ok. Lo, creo algo así puntualmente, ¿verdad? Ok, ok, that's fine. Yeah. It's a, like an opportunity, right? That, that you mentioned. Ok, good. Thank you, Marlon. Dora, Dorita, are you ready? I see it will because it motivates other women to run themselves better although in some case some women exaggerate, especially adolescents. Exaggerate, exageran un poco, dice Dorita. Okay, another uh, point. Thank you. Uh, Mercy, you go and then Diego. Okay, I don't really know much about that topic. Okay. In my opinion, and not. Uh, because for the main instant things, ¿cómo se dice concursantes? Participants. Mm -hmm. Participants, it is main opportunities acquiring a scratch, a cash price, working, in acting. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Marcy. Uh, Diego, and then we go with Alex. Okay. Uh, yes, I believe yes. Because every time the parameters of that industry are more and more demanding, especially with women, because they have their own respect about the beauty is. And I think the most industries are agree and have very skinny girls and that requires insane diet that mm. can be healthy for those girls. So this is my my point of view, but if it changes and includes all kind of, of women's sizes, it could be great to generalize the beauty is. The beauty really is. I believe the beauty is just a, a, a subjective matter or something like that. And it, or it's something that some try to manipulate for for his convenience or for okay. their convenience mm -hmm. or okay. convenience. I don't know how to say it. Oh, sure. Yes, like it's convenience. So every convenience and as you said there are parameters right and there are yeah. filters and like standards okay and unfortunately it's for the uh, women aspect right and well sometimes they are focused more on that area okay thank you diego yes, for they focus on that and, and it could be unhealthy for for women especially because okay. I, think, I think that the industry is focuses in women, especially. Okay, in a, in a specific type of women shape, ¿verdad? Yeah. La, más que todas las figuras de la mujer. Okay, uh, awesome, nice. Alex, are you ready? And then Andrea. Mm, okay, I think Alex is not ready. Andreita, please. Okay. No, they sh not. They should only change the rules and the as the aspect to be evaluated. Thus, all women who want to be able to participate re regardless, regardless uh, of their physical beauty. Okay, you said change the rules mm -hmm. or evalu uh, aspect to be evaluated, right? Okay, interesting, interesting opinion. Yeah. It, it can be possible. Well, maybe not, but it should be. Debería de ser, okay, thank you. And what about Claudia? And then Helen. Okay, my opinion is that yes, because for me, all the women are beautiful as God created is, and there is no need to compete and expo then silvers as if they were saying they're physical okay they are exposed um, physically right okay thank you claudia 
Very good. We go with Helen and then Kevin. Forgivery pages, yes. Mm -hmm. Those personal, beautiful, angry. Okay, okay. Thank you, Kevin, and then Carla. We okay. mm -hmm. My answer is short. I think it is really a big problem that can affect women. I think not. Okay, no, you think no. Okay, very punctual. Thank you. Carla, your turn. Um, my opinion is if beauty, beautiful is competent for an um, a woman are beautiful the water, water bed. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I will tell you something. Uh, a couple of years ago, I think it began an um, initiative about uh, size plus. No sé si han escuchado esa, esa cuestión del size plus, in which a fashion shows are including uh, women with different shapes. So the new designs of clothes are focused on different types of, of, of women, not only the ones that, that are very skinny or fit, because they are trying to uh, pluralize or to include different uh, size, ¿verdad? Uh, different tipo de, de medida. So I think that that is positive because there are some fashion shows, I feel the models, that they are included, different types of models. And not only the skinny ones, no solo las delgaditas, because that is like a stereotype that fashion has been working on people's mind, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, nos ha, ha dejado como bombardeado eso, ¿verdad? El tipo como ideal físicamente. De acuerdo, that's something yeah, really... Yeah, that's my point. This is... I love This is what I was talking about, teacher. Mm -hmm. Of course. But, but I think that, that you can hear me well, mm, right? No, but even right now it's like... Hello, okay. hello? Okay. Yes, I think the internet is... My internet is giving me some troubles again. Yes, yes, but just for a period of time, sort of a moment, okay? But thank you. Yes, as you mentioned, okay. there, yes, I, I heard a little bit about it. So uh, we're going to continue because uh, we have like, yes, like, like 50 minutes, but the time is passing by quickly. How to use simple present versus present continuous, tenemos otros ejemplos. Susi va a comenzar. Susi, I need you to read this and Diana this, okay? Susi, we use? We use simple present for general information or routine activities. Okay, routine activities. Actividades de rutina. Thank you. Diana, we use? We use present continuous for ongoing actions at the time of speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, ongoing, que se están llevando a cabo, ¿verdad? Que están sucediendo, a eso se refiere. Okay, thank you. We start. Mercy and Kevin, one and one. Okay, Mercy, here and Kevin, here. I check my email every morning. Okay, uh, Kevin. I am planning a video conference. Okay, Mercy, ¿qué te da a entender esto? Y Kevin, ¿qué te da a entender eso? ¿Qué dice? Eh, que debo de revisar el correo. Yo reviso. Yo uh -huh. reviso el correo. Y aquí dice, estoy... Eh, estoy planeando una videoconferencia. Estoy planeando. Uh -huh. Rutina y cosas que estás haciendo. Ok. Next, number two, Marlon en Verónica. Here, Marlon en okay. Verónica, here. He writes reports about meeting. Yeah, writes. Yeah, reports about meeting. En Verónica. They are going to document ready. Ready, yes, okay. Uh, he writes reports that is common and they are getting the documents ready, okay, right now. Thank you. And uh, we continue with Carmen, number three, and then we go Andrea, number three, here. She audits inventories. Inventories, yes. Mm -hmm. Andrea? She, she is ending the information. Editing. Editing, the information. editing the information. Thank you, thank you. Caro, number four, and... Christian, number four. They arrange. They arrange meetings. Okay. 
increase the, the secretary is is making a phone call phone call okay okay so this is can you notice the difference pueden notar la, la, la diferencia verdad a rutina y algo que está pasando en este momento okay so here we have Complete the sentences in present continuous. Aquí tenemos que vamos a completar las oraciones en presente continuo. Eh, tenemos eh, exercise from one to six. Helen, ¿me podrías leer el número uno, please? Thomas. Thomas. Print. Help. Is printing? Is printing. Is printing. The con contract. Okay, yes, thank you. Okay, Mercy, number two, Cheryl. And then we go with Claudia, number three. Cheryl is meeting? Meeting, meeting. Meeting, mm -hmm. meeting with the boss right now. Yeah, perfect. Okay, number three, Claudia. And then uh, we go with uh, Diego, number four. He take care of Everything. Mm -hmm. He's taking care. Vaya, aquí solo le voy a explicar esto. Esto se le llama phrasal verbs que tienen el bel, ¿cómo se llama? O están compuestos por, por, por dos, ¿verdad? Por dos palabras, ¿verdad? Entonces, normalmente le vamos, vamos a ponerle ing a la, a la primera palabra. ¿Ok? So, he's taking okay. care. Ok. Ok, perfect. Thank you. Ok, we go with Diego and then we go with Susie. I'm sorry, my friend, I can't hear you. Can you check the, the plug? Sorry, sorry. Okay, yes, that happens. I, I will speak loud. I will speak slow oh, this okay. time. Okay, I pay attention to the instructions. Okay, wonderful. Susie, five. She is preparing the briefing. Okay, good. And Mardo, six. They. Uh, they are sending the product to the warehouse. Okay, they say. Thank you. Uh, write in the boxes the activities you usually do on, mo on a Monday morning. Pero en lugar de eso, mejor vamos a hacer una oración con present continuous, porque esto ya lo hemos hecho con uno de los, lo de los rutinas. Entonces, para hacer esto, lo que necesitamos es utilizar el verb be, Y pueden utilizar un nombre, por ejemplo, Mercy is drinking coffee. It can be uh, imaginary actions. Acciones imaginarias, pero no, no pueden ser reales. Por ejemplo, Marlon is um, eating pupusas, ¿verdad? Vamos a utilizar cualquiera de los verbos. Comer, reír, caminar, trabajar. You can say Carmen is working right now, ¿ok? Or you can say, uh, Andrea is taking a shower right now. Okay, you can say different. You can use different sentences. Recuerden que vamos a utilizar eh, este, este formato. Todo este formato vamos a utilizar. I am, they are, she is, okay. Y el verbo en ing, okay. So let's invent one. Inventense one, okay? We're, I'm going to give you one minute. Un minuto. O menos. 30 seconds. This is easy. Okay, we're going to start with some of you. And um, what about Andrea? Okay, Susie is checking the Facebook. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so true, so true, tan verdadero. Carmen and then Diego. Okay. Uh, Mercy is planning an event. Okay, an event, an event. Mm -hmm. Good, Carmen. Diego, then Kevin. Okay. Um, all we are studying English. Wow, yes, that's for sure. Kevin, then Veronica. 
Andrea is playing a video game right now. Mm -hmm. Good. Veronica, then Marlon. Marlon waiting right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, Marlon and Carito. Okay. Uh, Christian is getting, uh, is eating his breakfast uh, at 8.45 a.m. Okay. Good. Carito and Dora. I am planning to drink coffee with Carla. Okay. And Dora then Andrea. Diana is making a dinner. Okay, it's making dinner. Mm -hmm. Ya quisiera probar eso. Andrea and Diana. Teacher. Andrea, ya pasaste, ya pasaste. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Diana, then Edgar. And Carla is resting on Sunday. Okay, o oh, podemos decir Carla is resting right now. ¿Verdad? Oh, Carla God. está descansando ahora. Okay, aunque no lo sea. Uh -huh. eh, thank you. Edgar and Christian. Is uh, I am I am reading the ¿Cómo podría decir cuadro? The chart. Uh -huh. I, I am reading the chart. Okay, oh, thank you. Por decir nombre. Yes, thank you. Uh, Christian, now go uh, Christian and then Helen. Uh, Mercy is walking in the park. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Helen, then Carla. Rose, shake and report. Okay, yes. Carla, then Mercy. Caro is drinking a pizza. Mm -hmm. And Mercy. Helen is walking to work. Okay, thank you. Creo que ya todos tenemos claro lo del ING. Y pues ya que tenemos esto, vamos a la siguiente. Let's go with the next question. Solo nos quedan 40 minutos, 40 minutos, and we finish this Friday. Terminamos este viernes. Do you think a couple should live together before marriage? Why or why not? Primera pregunta. Pueden elegir cualquiera de las dos. O decir las dos en su defecto. Okay. And then here we have also. Do you agree with marriage? Why? Why not? Okay. So that, that is something, that is a matter as always. Uh, well, there is a matter of opinions. Es de acuerdo a las opiniones que ustedes pueden tener. Okay. It is not a fact. No es un hecho de por sí. But we're going to begin now with Mercy. Are you ready, Mercy? Yes, teacher. Okay. <clears throat> one, question one or two? Or both? Or one? one. Okay, one. Go ahead. In my opinion, yes. Because mm -hmm. this way they now age older better before getting married. 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 Yes. In mm -hmm. the probability of having a stable, stable stability or, uh, or stable relationship. Stable long term relationships after marriage. Mm -hmm. Very excellent. Well, excellent opinion. Yes, they can know each other. Okay, that's a good point. Point for mercy, punto para mercy. Thank you. And we go now with Edgar, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Please, my friend, go ahead. Uh, I think yes, because it is a way to know a person if they are compatible or not. Mm -hmm. uh, it may not be well said, but uh, in my opinion, it's, it is an option to know if it is indicator or not. Mm, it's an option, right? To know that person. Okay. Well said, Edgar. Kevin, are you ready, Kevin? No, the chair, I need more time, please. You need more time, no problem. I will need you, I, I will give you more time. What about Dorita? You tell me, Dorita, what's your opinion about question number one or question number two? Mm, turn the microphone on, Dorita, please. Because of what they stay in me and because of the example that 
I saw in my family. Mm -hmm. I did not. I did that in order to have a less problematic marriage. Yeah, it is yeah, necessary yeah, to yeah, pass yeah, yeah. some filters such yeah, as friends, ship. I will say that this is essential. Then the big wrong to get later to the marriage. Oh, I like a word that you said, filters. Yes, it is good to, to pass some filters um, in different stages, in different etapas, like friends, as you mentioned, okay? Uh, so you say uh, that, that is better, okay, uh, to, to know each other, to have filters, and then have the decision, right? Dorita, thank you, thank you very much. Marlon, okay, the expert, tell me. <laughs> uh, okay, with the first question. Uh -huh. um, you, I you think, uh, I think uh, people can can live uh, together uh, with being not in, in, in with, marriage without marriage. Getting mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. without ma without marriage. Without marriage. Uh, I think they they can live. Uh, a couple can live without marriage. Um, I don't think uh, it is an impediment for a couple to being happy or to live happily. And uh, I think uh, uh, they are, there are some couples to get married and in a few time they are getting divorced. So uh, not is necessary to, to marriage to being happy with, with our couple. Mm -hmm. I, that's my opinion. Okay, okay. So they can be together but, but, without marriage. It is not... sometimes. Excuse me. Yeah, uh, go ahead. I think, uh, in my opinion, uh, sometimes uh, the marriage can be just a uh, uh, a legal process. Um, I I don't know. Uh, more more uh, or I don't know more than than being an an union and strong union. A strong union. It is, it is more than a, a, a legal process, I, I think. Okay. It is my opinion. It's a matter of, of, of yeah, legality or processes than you know. So marriage, I, I mean, like, in fact, like, like you said, it doesn't mean that they love, right, each other. Yeah. It ju it's just a decision or something that you accept, okay? Of course, and that's and that's why I agree with the with the marriage too, because you can do it. You can get married. Okay. If you want, uh, if you love the, 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 the person, but if you don't want, uh, you can live uh, without the marriage too. And be happy. And being happy. Okay. Marlon, are you are, happy? Uh, <laughs> happier. Hey, Marlon, Marlon, are you married? No, I am not. <laughs> and in the future, or is that in your plans? Is that the plan? Eh, no, it isn't. Vale, entonces no, ya no hablo, no te voy a escuchar. Okay, but but uh, we don't know, teacher. Yeah, you, okay, you know, whatever, we, whatever we can, can happen, okay. Can happen, okay. Mm -hmm. Accidente, <laughs> oops, I'm sorry. Okay, no, okay. Yes. Thank you, thank you, Marlon. Okay, we're going now with Susie and then Veronica. Uh, number one. Maybe it would be the best to get to know the couple in all facets. Okay, so it is better to know in different stages, like sets or periods of time, because you said they can be, they can have a relationship, boyfriends or girlfriends, have like five years and maybe they don't know some characteristics. No saben alguna característica, algunas manitas. Okay, so thank you, Susie. See this one. Veronica and then Andrea, because she's ready. If in this way you can observe the habits in be able to determine if there are things that you will not be willing to tolerate. Wow. Two important words that Veronica said. Habits and tolerate. Habits and tolerate. And... Well, it is difficult because you live with your family and your family knows you. Familia te conoce. 
when when you live together with, with, with another person and uh, you have habits different habits from your home and the other person have different habits so to match tener es, es, esa unión es, ese vínculo you have to tolerate a lot of things si no ustedes me dicen okay so that's it good veronica thank you andrea okay yes because that way they can get know each other better and they would be sure of wanting to get married and that way they would know now each other better the habits and bad habits of each one okay do you have bad habits all of you tendrán malos habitos ustedes o tenían or maybe you had in the past in india yes yeah, yeah. so it's up to you right or maybe they are not bad habits for you, but they are for the other person. It's a matter of perspective, right? So maybe you can be afraid, you can be, well, I'm not going to say anything, okay? But yeah, there are bar habits that sometimes we have to change and because, well, to have a better relationship. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Well, Carla, are you ready? Yes. Go ahead. Because that have is how they can know each other and, and share be, before forming a home. Okay. Uh, you have to share experiences, uh, time before, like have the, the basis for a, for a home, for a family. Okay. Thank you, Carla. And hey, we're going to finish this. Uh, well, this question by now with Carmen. Okay, Carmen, tell me. Okay. In my opinion, yes, I agree with the marriage. I think in the commitment that this represents. Okay, it's a commitment that it represents. And it is good when both decide to get into that uh, point, right? Yes, why not? Um, there are some people that they say, I'm not, I'm never gonna marry, right? They say, Nunca me voy a casar, and at the end, <laughs> ahí me invitan a la, a la despedida soltera. Si, sí, dicen algunos, some of them, some people, okay. Um, thank you, thank you for all your opinions. In uh, 30 minutes, and we finish. So, remember, I, well, yesterday, because Susie told me. Teacher. To explain, yes. Sorry, but. I didn't participate yet. Okay. Te estaba dejando para la otra tanda, but okay. Go okay, ahead. okay, okay. Yes. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Yo creo que Diego, I think Diego has a lot of experience to share. And okay, we're going to continue now. No, ya que nos encendimos. No, no. Right now. Okay, vamos a ver. Yo creo que nos va a convertir este hombre. Okay, okay. okay, go ahead. I will give you my point of view, but, but first, I want to be sure that can you hear me? Of course, yes, right? Andrea, Carmen, yes? Okay. Can we hear, right? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> and in my opinion, I think that get married is really important to you. If you are a religion person, go ahead, do it. But yes, it's very important. Yeah to live for a short time before before to get married because you can know deeply your your couple and if you see some some behaviors that can become as a uh, trouble in in your relationship you can change it and you can i don't know you can make something about it because if you uh, lo deja pasar. I don't know. To say. You let it go. If you let it go, if you if you just let it go, it can become a trouble, and that is will not good. But I I, uh, I think I believe for me it's not important to get married because I can live with my couple, and we can we can learn each other how to live. Without without a paper, you know what I mean. Because without the contract, rules. 
exactly. <laughs> okay. We can live and learn together uh, through the through the, the relationship. And that's my point. It's not important. Uh, at least that is very important because you are a religion person, you know. If you're mm -hmm. practicing uh, a religion, and it's a requirement to be or to to go to the church, do it. But first, make sure that that you can live with that person. It's very important because you don't do it in the future. It can be a, a failed relationship, you know, or mm -hmm. a, a failed marriage. Okay. That's a good this point. I think. Mm -hmm. So live uh, like uh, different events and uh, different situations, good, uh, good ones and bad ones, and then to have a decision if you want to continue living with that person. Uh, it can be in a marriage or not, but always uh, sharing time, sharing experiences. And yes, I consider that in a couple, there is always one person who prefers or who has the initiative to get married. Siempre hay alguien que tiene esa iniciativa. Always. It is not in the same level. Nunca es en, la misma, en el mismo nivel. Right? So, yeah, if you're happy with that, you can do it. Yeah, are, exactly. are, the, that's my point. Is to, it's not important to get married, but pero si lo es, to know very well your your couple before to get married or go to live with with him or with her okay that's it that's it are you married Diego? no i'm not are you planning <laughs> in the future? <laughs> no okay but i can i, I could do it just to make happy to my couple Okay, okay, que te case, dice que va a tu madrina. Okay, nice. Está así solo echándole la soga a todo, ahí ella hasta se esconde. Okay, fine, fine. Thank you, Diego. And let's, and listen, Kevin, are you ready with your participation? Yes. I'm okay, ready. please. Uh, with the first question. Mm -hmm. Okay, first I question. That yes, people should live together before getting married. I think that this way then can get to know each other much better before taking the big step. Mm -hmm. to, to take into account different things, to take the big step. Okay. Kevin, are you married, my friend? I don't. So, mm. so, are you married? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a good answer. Um, later, I'm going to ask to, to the rest. Okay. So, uh, yesterday we started will going to uh, present continuous, right? We'll go, I'm going to, y con ING, que es el present continuous, ya sea para futuro o para expresar el present. Okay. So, eh, también vimos esto, que yo creo que ahora ya, ya, ya le captan un poquito más. Right? Con el ING. Y todo eso. Getting, running, writing, sitting. ¿Verdad? Hoy sí, ya creo que ya tenemos como más claro todo, todo, todo este punto. Que puede que en algún momento pues, nos confundía. Así que vamos con worship. Necesito, I need you to create sentences by using present continuous. The first person is going to be Andrea. And then Claudia. Okay, Andrea, pick one. Um, number two. Number two, okay. He is smoking a cigar. Yes, a cigar, yes. Cigar. Good. ¿Quién, quién está fumando? No sabe. Okay, uh, who's next? Claudia and then Edgar. Okay, number eight. Number eight. You eat an apple. You are eating. You are eating. 
Acuérdense que tenemos el ING. Oh, el ING. Okay. You are eating an apple. Okay, thank you. Edgar, and then we go with Kevin. Uh, number th three. Okay. Uh, they are playing football. Thank you. Kevin, then we go with Marlon. Number seven. Seven. We're walking to work. Yes, we're walking to work. No, walking dead. Walking to work. Marlon, then Cara. Carla. Okay, Cara, Carla. Number Carla. nine. Mm -hmm. Number nine. They Number are nine. running. They are running around the park. They are running around the park. Mm -hmm. Good. Running free. Thank you, Carla. Number four. Number four. It, it arrived. Cassie, it is, it, it is, is right. Raining. Como decía mi maestro. Raining. Okay. Thank you. Um, now we go Diego and Andrea. Pick one. Okay. Number five. Five. And it's writing a letter. Mm -hmm. A love letter. Okay. Andrea, and then we go with Dora. Eh, teacher, yo fui la primera. No sé por qué se me olvida. Mira, <laughs> algo tengo. Ok, Dora, please, pick one. And then we I go... I am waiting for the bus. Ok, I am waiting, waiting for the bus. Thank you. Eh, Caro and Veronica. Number six. Number six. Bud writing a book. Bud is... Bud is a reading a book. Oh, is reading a book. Good. Okay, Veronica has me with number one. I I am sharing on my shirt. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we have more. No se preocupen que aquí tengo un poquito más para ustedes. Carmen, and then Diana. Alexander is watching a film. Yeah. Diana, then Helen. No te me escapas. Number two. We are playing a computer game. Perfect. Helen and then Christian. Uh, number seven. Seven. I am to talking. Talking. To Doris. Talking. Talking. Talking to Doris. Yes. Okay. Now we go Christian and then Mercy. Sería number eight. Mm -hmm. Peggy also Peggy. Peggy? Peggy is dry, drawing a picture. Okay, drawing. Yes, drawing a picture. Drawing. Perfect. Okay, merci. Then um, Susie. Number six. six. Uh -huh. Mary is washing her hair. Her hair, her, her hair. hair. Yes, hey, hey, okay. And Susie, and then we we'll go with, okay, Susie, go ahead. Number three. Three. The dog is barking at the cat. Perfect, bien, vamos con otra, con otra de regreso, Andreita, porque ya desde hace rato quiero que participe. Okay, number ten. Ten. You are uh, to learning. The point be my Vaya, hair. Andreita, esta no la vayas a utilizar. Ay. Entonces es, They you are, are learning the point B by, by heart. By heart. By heart is by memory. Okay, good, como la versión de la bandera. Eh, Diego, four, five, or nine. What about four. nine? Nine, come on. You can do it, nine. Peter. Ah, nine, okay. Yeah, okay. go ahead. You can do it. Henry and his sister are helping their mother. Are helping, yes, because one and one makes two, right? Yeah. Good. What about if we go with Diana because she wants to participate again? So, Diana, pick okay. one. Mm -hmm. um, Phil is cinco, five. Five. Philip and Johnny are singing a song. Singing a song. Okay, wonderful. And the last one we're having here, Claudia. Again, number four. Phil. Mm -hmm. Peter. Peter are. Mm -mm. Peter P is. Uh, Peter is feeding 
his rabbit. Feeding his rabbits. Yes, 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 yes. Ok, we're about to finish. Solo vamos a tomar una captura a dos conversaciones que tengo acá. Y quiero que noten la diferencia. Solo la vamos a hacer bien, bien corta. Ok. Tenemos la primera acá, que es el present continuous. Utilizando eh, el present continuous para el presente y otro va a ser para el futuro. Que en total eh, son casi pues ocho conversaciones, pero no la vamos a ver las ocho, solo vamos a ver cuatro y consiste en, los, en lo siguiente. Esto es lo que estudiamos ayer. Miren, estudiamos el este, present continuous, solo vamos a tomarle captura a la uno y a la dos. Ok, pero si quieren antes de tomarle captura, me dicen si hay una, una, algunas palabras que no conocen. Early que es temprano, early. Uh -huh. uh, ¿Se recuerdan que vimos toothache, lo de los dolores? Marlon, ¿qué es toothache? Toothache, eh, yo lo podría traducir como un dolor en los dientes. Yes, teacher. yes, yes, yes. yes. That's it. Uh, teacher, sorry, and how do you pronounce it? Toothache, ache. Todo esto, ache. todo lo que lleva H, esa, la palabra ah, H es yeah, ache. Yeah, like, like a headache. Headache, like a... headache, headache, eh, backache, ajá. Uh -huh. That's it. Mm, okay, okay. So, today, okay? Anytime. Okay, I'm getting uh, my teeth clean. Uh, if you are leaving early, I'm leaving early too. Fine with me. Okay. And uh, what are you doing tonight? Okay, join is unete. Cuando decimos join us, unetenos. Unetenos. Okay. Maybe, ya saben que es quizás. Okay. So, ¿Qué es lo que quiero que veamos acá? Es, aquí estamos utilizando el present continuous para planes a futuro, para cosas que vamos a hacer. ¿Ok? A eso se refiere. ¿Ok? So, I need some of you. Necesito que me lean línea por línea ciertas personas. Comenzamos con Dorita y vamos con um, Verónica en la segunda. ¿Ok? Dorita. Why? Dorita. Are you, uh, Activate the, the microphone, please. Why are you leaving early? Uh -huh. I am going to the dentist. Thank you. Okay, now we go with Andrea and Diana. Why? Why? Do you have a toothache? No. No, I'm getting my teeth cleaned. Okay, uh, Diego, please, you're the man. And uh, Helen, Fine. Okay. Okay, teacher, just tell me where. Well, well, if. Well, if you're living early, I live in early too. Thank you, Helen. Fine. Fine with me. Yes, that's it. Okay, now we go. Marlon, what are you doing? What are you doing tonight? Okay, now we go with Carmen. I'm, I'm meeting. Activate the microphone, Carmen, please. Excuse me. I'm meeting my mom for dinner. 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 Okay, Edgar here and Kevin here. Edgar, oh, where? Oh, where are you going? Kevin? You are going to the new Thai restaurant. Thai restaurant. Join us. Mm -hmm. We are, yeah, that's it. Christian? Thanks, okay, and Carito, well. Thanks for back, I can. I play in soccer tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe next time. Okay, excellent. Si se dan cuenta, lo último. Vamos al nuevo, vamos, se dan cuenta, vamos eh, al nuevo eh, restaurante Thai. Únetenos. Y le dice, gracias, pero no puedo, ¿ve? I'm playing soccer tonight. Quiere decir que voy a jugar, ¿verdad? Fútbol esta noche. Entonces, el continuous se utiliza para el, el futuro. Bien, le, le tomaron screenshot. Me le toman screenshot porque le voy a mostrar lo otro. Y ya vamos a terminar. Solo nos quedan 13, este, 13 minutes, 13 minutos. Y solo lo vamos a hacer una vez cada, cada conversación, ¿verdad? No es necesario que cambien. Eh, que ustedes interchange, intercambien o switch. Ok. Les presento entonces la otra. 
Okay, now let's see the other. This is part present. Aquí, lo que sucede es que solo hablamos de lo que estamos haciendo en este momento. Mm -hmm. Okay. De ahí no creo que tenemos chopping, es partir en, en pedacitos como, como el su, sushi o algo así. Chop, chop. Así. Ok. Eh, ok. So, please have a screenshot. Necesito que tengan una captura de esto. And we have 12 minutes. Y tenemos 12 minutos. Ya para terminar. Okay, creo que ya estamos listos, ¿verdad? Yes. Ready? ¿Le tomaron captura? Yep, yep. No, 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 teacher. Okay, no problem, no problem. For future, Six. for present. Okay, go ahead. Conversation one and two. Solo eso, ¿verdad? No necesario hacer los otros. One and two. Don. Hello, yes. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Yeah. Telling. Mm. I am. Okay. Telling, telling, creo que es. ¿Dónde está? Aquí en la, en, es, arriba, en la primera conversación. Ajá. Ok, where are you? I am working inside. I am writing a letter to my boyfriend. I am telling, tell, tell. Telling. I am telling him about my life and my new job. Are you using the computer? I am not using the computer because I like to hand write letters. My hand is getting tired, dog. Where is Mary? Mary is cooking in the kitchen. She is chopping some vegetables because she is making a vegetable soup. How is she making it? She is reading a recipe and following the instructions inside. She is enjoying herself. Recipe, recipe. Telling, telling, okay, chopping. Okay, my friends, uh, 10 minutes. Si se dan cuenta, yo creo que solo una vez la van a hacer, no es necesario que la hagan dos veces. 10 minutos, and we finish. Voy a hacer otras parejas. I'm going to create another, um, some other teams, okay? So be ready, estén listos. Pueden dar una revisada en ese momento si ustedes gustan. Okay, see you. Sí, ahorita ya aquí. Ok. Ok. 
Eso. Es, esas son, no, no íbamos a practicar las conversaciones. Hello, yes. my friends. Everything okay? ¿Todo bien? Yes, sí, eso vamos a hacer, la, la conversación, vea. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Yo empiezo. Where are you? Ah, perdón, perdón, es que estaba, el chat estaba más arriba, lo siento, no lo había visto. Ok, um, este, si ¿sí tienes la captura, Kevin. Es que le comento a Diego que, que yo más que nada me conecto en la computadora y es como que no puedo tomar. ¿Qué, eh, Diego, ¿podrías compartir la captura? Su? De hecho, ya me la mandó por WhatsApp. Ya ah, ok. Ah, ah. Ajá. I sent him for WhatsApp. Ok, if you can share it, ok, you can do it easily. Ok. She is enjoying herself. Herself. Mm -hmm. yes. Vamos a ver, voy, voy a comenzar yo nuevamente. Where Where did you, you finish? Ya terminaron. Sí. Wow. sí. La hicimos intercambiar. Wow, fine. Ya no lo voy a juntar. Pasa, es que la, <risa> Muy rápido si termina. Si se fija, la de man es también fácil. <risa> ah, Entonces, con ahí. razón. Ahí sí, dice. Ahí la hizo. Ahí la quedó ahí. <risa> Pobrecita, pero okay. ok. No, no te dejé, no te dejé, pero trabalo por No, ya, ya lo puse que dijera la de la mujer. También. Ok, perfecto, ok. Fine. <risa> ya solo nos quedan como un minuto de práctica y we finish, ok. Ok, ok. Inside. She is enjoying herself. Bueno. No terminado, si quiere, este, seguimos. No sé. Vaya. ¿Terminaron? Fine. Sí. Wow, yes. ya no lo voy a juntar. Ok. <laughs> excelente. Mentira, excelente. Thanks, thanks. Well, maybe next time. Ok. Pero ya sí. terminamos las cuatro. Volvemos. Cambiamos, ok. De hecho, ya vamos a salir. <laughs> Pero bien hecho. Qué rápido. Ya terminamos las bárbaro, cuatro. Bárbaro, bárbaro. Ya no lo voy a juntar entonces. Okay, good. You finished quickly. Terminaron rápido. Congratulations. Very good. I think you are getting a better fluency. Están teniendo más fluidez. Me llega, aunque Marron dice que le pasó bien al suave. Por okay. Verónica. Por Verónica le tocó todo. Ok, good. Um, merci. Let's see. Present. Yes. No, tranquila, tranquila. Ah, perdón. Ya está, va, pero me llega. Que está ya se quiere salir de la clase. No, no, sí, ya, ya, ya sí, ya. Okay. Um, eh, solo me faltan unos cuantos para lo de la opinión. Cla Carito, are you ready? Carito. Hi, teacher. ¿Estás lista con tu, with uh, your opinion? Ah, ok. Ok. Go ahead. Uh, one moment, please. One moment. And yeah, in my opinion, no. Before marriage, there had to be a courtship to now, to now, and there they can be a marriage. Okay, fine. Thank you. Christian, are you ready? Sorry, sorry. Así se pronuncia esa palabra. Courtship. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Está bien, Carito. Se está portando bien. Okay, Christian. Yes, I ready uh, the second question. Yeah, uh, yes, I agree. Uh, is part of the process of forming a family, mm -hmm. uh, but of the, uh, the formal process, process. Okay, it's part of the formal process. Okay, thank you very much. Claudia, are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. 
My opinion is that everything depends on the truth and security of the countries to proceed to live together for the memory, to have a happy future. Okay, okay, fine, excellent. Thank you. Ya estamos por terminar. Vamos con Diana. Dianita, no hemos participado. No. Okay, go ahead. The second mm -hmm. question. Okay. I think that's not necessary because I have met married couples who are unfaithful and do not respect their partners. In my opinion, marriage is not a a guarantee, no sé cómo se dice eso. A guarantee, yeah, guarantee. guarantee of loyalty and commitment. I think that it depends more on each person, regardless of marriage. Wow, hmm, no garantía de eso. Okay, good point. Thanks. And what about Alex? Creo que no está. Y la última sería Helen. Ready, Helen? Would you finish? Yes, I agree. Marry uh, between a woman and men. Okay, that's your point. Be between a, a woman and a man, not other kind of marriage. <laughs> not the <laughs> tipo de matrimonio. Well, Helen, me saliste. Con otro punto, but that's okay. 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 I agree with you. Thank you. And um, we are about to finish. Uh, check the assistance in less than a minute. In minute, minute, revise assistance, okay? Oh, see. Merci. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carmen. Present. Thank you, Claudia. And Carito. Present. Okay, good. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, good. Christian. Present. Nice. Uh, Alexander, Hello. not here. Diana? Hi, present. Go, Diego? Present. Nice. Uh, Dora? Present. Thank you. Dorita, te pregunté acerca de esto. Yes, sir. Yes, sí, es que no te había puesto aquí esto. Okay, thank you. Uh, Edgar, hello. Present, teacher. Nice. Helen? Present. Perfect. Carla? Present. Good, Kevin. Present, teacher. Nice, Marlon, thank you. Present. Good, Susie. Present, teacher. And Veronica. Okay, my friend, see you. Marlon, we have 10 minute session, okay? And for the rest, see Present, you. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Veronica. Hey, good okay. night, everybody. Good night. Have a nice weekend. Good night. Teacher, hasta que ejercicio hay que llegar hoy? Oh, uh, estamos, quiero ver, hasta el segundo. Puedes adelantarte si gustas, puedes adelantarte, ¿verdad? Pero si no, ejercicio, tarea 2, ¿ok? Ok. Me quiere ir ahorita. ¿Quieres quedar para ahorita? Mm, ¿Ya te gustó? No, no, me voy, teacher. Vale. Eh, sí, Marlon, ¿cómo estamos? ¿Ah? Muy bien, teacher. Bien, dime, <ríe> dime. <ríe> ok, este, ¿hay algo en, en el que te gustaría que eh, hiciera algún refuerzo? ¿Algún tipo de vocabulario? ¿Algún tema en específico? Eh... ¿Algo que consideras que, que sí, te, se te, no que se te dificulte un montón, pero sí tenés como dudas? Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Prepositions of time, teacher. Uh -huh. Y que son las, las mismas preposiciones del lugar, ¿verdad? In at. Ah, ok. Eh, a, veces, a veces es así, eh, tiendo a confundirlas. Vaya, permítame. Uh -huh. Sí, ya te capté. Ayer me parece que se las volví a mostrar, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. yes. Y eso era ajá, de, desde el curso pasado, pero siempre, y no creas, estas siempre confunden. <risa> Sí, sí. Eh, déjame ver, por aquí la tengo. Pues no, no la vimos a ver, la vimos. La clase pasada. Sí.
Dios. Ey, si no me avisa, teacher, me desconectó. Sí, sí, ya me imaginé y no Carmen, ayer se me fue, pues si Carmen ya dice que estaba viendo Netflix. Ya, ah, había, ya, ya había levantado los pies, dice, en el sofá. <risa> sí, ok, pero ya nos quedan como seis minutos, ya esta cosa termina rápido. Ok, mm. Marlon, eh, tenemos esta, ¿verdad? On, in, at, ¿verdad? Estas son prepositions uh -huh. of time, pero también se utilizan como preposiciones de lugar. La diferencia es que las pre, la preposiciones de lugar es bien descriptiva y utilizamos un objeto, por ejemplo, the book is on the table, the cat okay. is in the, in the closet, y así. En este caso, con respecto a fechas, eh, normalmente, cuando te digan un mes o un año, es in. Solo así, pensando. Si te dicen un mes y el año es in, de ahí el resto es on. Así ve el Okay. Yo, yo así me lo aprendí porque si te pones, a ver, ah, cuando tiene el día, ah, cuando tiene el, el, cuando tiene el mes y la fecha. Ok, cuando tiene el día, mes y fecha, on. Y aquí, in. entonces, solo pensé, si te dice un, un mes, in September, in December, corto, así, sencillo. En el año, in 2020, in uh, 1999, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? En cambio, es cuando te dicen el día, on, siempre on. Okay. El, el mes, ajá. En, quiero ver, ¿sí? O sea que siempre que veas el día, eso lleva on, ¿verdad? Y, y, cuando, y veo, no sé, teacher, si es mi, mi percepción, pero cuando es algo que ya está por ocurrir, es at. Eh, no necesariamente. No, no. no. La, el at se utiliza, digamos, para algo ya establecido. Como, más puntual, digamos. Ajá, es como bien puntual. Vaya, la hora es at. at es a cualquier hora es at. Y en cambio aquí es at noon at night, at midnight. Y utilizamos uh -huh. at cuando hay un lugar específico. Por ejemplo, at restaurant, at the hospital, uh -huh. at the university. Fíjense yeah. que eso estaba viendo que el at eh, llega, llega más puntual. Porque uh -huh. si, si decimos at, at two and thirty, at noon, at night, at midnight. Todo eso es dentro de un día. Sí, sí. Y si dentro... hablamos del día, es on. Uh -huh. Así es. Okay. Así es. Okay. Y también recordar que estas son las partes del día. La única diferencia es in the morning. Mañana, ah, okay. mañana, mediodía, también podemos decir, ajá. Ah, y en la tarde también. Sí, es que eso es lo tricky. Uh -huh. Eso es lo, lo, in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. In the morning. Y acuérdate que decimos in the morning, in the, the afternoon o the. ¿Verdad? Entonces tiene el de. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. No podemos decir at the morning. No podemos decir at the after. <risa> ni, 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 ni vamos, no, tampoco vamos a, a decir in the night. Ajá, Así cabal, cabal. No, es at night. At night. At y night. un montón de canciones vas a encontrar eso. Ajá. Ajá. Aunque okay. hay una canción. Eh, Me acabo de acordar de una también. De, de White Snake, que se llama In the Middle of the Night. In the middle of the sí. night, es una de White Snake, que, que es bien rápida, nada que balada, sí, es buena. Sí, sí. Y también está sí. una de Judas Priest, que es Living at the Midnight. After Midnight. Ah, after, ah, pues estoy inventando, mira, Ajá. estoy inventando, pero, ah, pues pero, after pero Midnight. Hay una, pero, pero hay una teacher de un grupo que se llama Crocus, que se llama Screaming in the Night. Ah, de verdad. Screaming ¿Te puede in the ser night. que si, si, hay, después no. la busca? La, no, no la conozco. Screaming sí. in the night. Screaming in the night. Seguramente tiene, bueno. ajá, seguramente tendrá otro significado, fíjate. O sea, siempre lo que pasa es que, ah, ya sé por qué. Lo que pasa es que cuando utilizamos el at es una acción que la tenemos, por ejemplo, ah, I'm working at night or I see you at night. Pero o cuando, yo creo que es como una cuestión de rutina, pero cuando utilizas screaming in the night, es como algo bien específico. No sé, quizás uh -huh. se, se va a referir a algo que no es tan usual. Yo creo que por ahí, okay. por ahí iría la cosa, pero ya me dejaste tarea, mira. Ok. ¿Cómo se llama? Scroll. Eh, eh, la, la, el grupo. Ajá. Eh, crocus con K, K y K, Crocus. ¿Y ¿Qué son heavy? Heavy metal. Ah, con K es. Uh -huh. 
Ya ochentero, güey. Sí, buenísimo. Ah, no puede ser, grupo, mira. <risa> es, ajá. Ya lo voy a escuchar. Sí, eh, ahí lo, va a haber una gran influencia de ICDC, Ah, Accept, no, pues sí. Pero son buenísimos. No, no, son no. Viejos, sí, de sí, no, sí, 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 a mí me gusta bastante, bastante la, la música ochentera, los ochentos. No, sí, es, es un gran <risa> rollo. Y ahí, sí. ahí uno, uno aprende bastante, fíjate. Sí, de hecho, de hecho, yo creo que ha sido algo que me ha ayudado a mí para, para aclimatarme un poco a, al inglés. Y fíjate que la mayoría de que les gusta rock o sí, o, o son rockers o sí, que les gusta el metal, saben sus cositas. Sí. Sí, ¿quién los mira? Sí, <risa> sí, brochero, que nada que ver, quizás no necesariamente con referente estudio. Pero sí, o sea, ah, está el álbum, que no sé qué, ahí está la canción. No sé. Y, y no sé, ya hablando con, con unos amigos, este, que, por ejemplo, él ni siquiera sacó bachillerato, pero tiene una banda. Tiene una sí. banda, él, que se llama Midnight. Es, es ajá, una banda de trash. Este, que bah, tiene tiempo de estar, pero no están muy activos. El punto es que el tipo, incluso hasta tiene dislexia, in, in, invierte la, las letras. Pero se sabe bastantes palabras la pronunciación cuando él canta, se oye bien, bien, sí. bien chiva y, y me quedo, <risa> bueno, me sorprende. Así que, sí. bueno, ah, pues sí, pues ya me dejaste esa tarea, voy a ver. No sé si tienes otra duda, Marlon, porque ya estamos por eh, terminar. Uh -huh. Sí, eh, creo que con esta estamos bien, eh, teacher. Y, y yo estoy más que convencido que con la práctica es que se logra mejorar todo, pues. Sí, sí, pero fíjate uh -huh. que si comparamos ahora como estaba antes, sí, no es mentira, siento más fluidez de varios. En tu caso te Exacto. siento que, y que algo que te ayuda es que estás adquiriendo nuevas palabras y le estás metiendo, aunque vos la sientas que a la fuerza al inicio. No sé si a veces Ajá. has sentido que como que oh, quiero meter sí. esa palabra, porque sí, pero eso te ayuda a que otras cosas fáciles las vas a decir sin dificultad. Es correcto. Sí, y, y realmente cuando nos deja las las actividades, las speaking activities, Ajá. Eh, yo lo tomo como que me hagan una pregunta así eh, al momento, uh -huh. porque eso es con lo que al final nos vamos a topar, pues. Claro. Porque yo creo que en el trabajo no nos van a hacer la pregunta y nos van a decir, ay, me responde más tarde. Exacto, <risa> Entonces, exacto. Y, ese, y eso es parte de por qué a veces yo le pido correcciones, teacher, en el Sí, momento. no hay problema, no hay problema. Porque yo, yo siento que es mejor irse aclimatando. A pensar uh -huh. en el momento a veces, eh, porque las opiniones sabemos darlas, pues si, si tuviéramos que responder en español, somos bien fluidos. Ah, tenemos no, nuestro... eso sí. Pero tendríamos que aclimatarnos a hacerlo en inglés. Y algunas veces eh, a mí me sucede eso. Creo que hasta puedo tender a enredarme, pero yo siento que podría ser algo, no importa, algo, algo bueno. No importa. Acuérdate que eh, poco a poco vamos puntualizando las ideas. Si te das cuenta, hay algunos que solo leen. Y yo les he Exacto. dicho que, que preparen su respuesta, pero preparar su respuesta no es leer, sino que si quieren tengan unas palabras claves. Porque me gusta Correcto. que, si te das cuenta, hay varios que hay palabras que tolerate, que me dijeron habits, eh, hay, hay varios que me dijeron así. Que, 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 sí, de y, hecho, y me Carmen gustó. Me mencionó, uh -huh. Carmen me mencionó una que era high, ¿qué? Lo de, highlight. Lo de saltar. Highlight. highlight. Sí, eso estuvo bastante bien. Entonces, <ríe> Y, y me gusta porque ya van a conociendo otro, otro que más amplio, pues el vocabulario. Pero Correcto. si lo dicen así, es, bueno, por ejemplo, Diego, Diego tiene fluidez, pero a veces apunta. Y lo dice, Correcto. y está bien, está bien, ¿verdad? Hay otros que, bueno, por ejemplo, Kevin, Kevin, <ríe> ese nunca apunta. A veces se traba, pero normalmente también da, da, da aportes y todos, me gusta que todos dan su opinión. Ya que sea correcto o no, eso no nos compete. A mí me compete correcto. escuchar, ¿verdad? Entonces, El punto de vista. Ajá. Escuchar un punto de vista. Correcto. Entonces, recordá que en los trabajos o diferentes tipos de trabajos, especialmente el tuyo, te van a pedir tu opinión. Es correcto. Para tomar decisiones, ¿verdad? Te van a dar referente a proyectos o cualquier cosa o en cualquier eh, situación en la que estés. Conversación normal puede ser invitar a ir a un bar. Te van a pedir una opinión. Sí. ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Entonces, ah, va, demos, oh, yes. Y no voy a tener chance de notar. No, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Te lo voy a preparar. No. <risa> Así Entonces, es. No, yo siento que sí, si sí sienten. Algunos me han dicho que han sentido que este módulo es un poquito más demandante. Eh, realmente yo lo he querido poner así de más demandante porque ustedes pueden. 
si no pudieran, mmm, me, me relajaría. Sí, y, y yo realmente en el primer modo lo sentí más, más, tran más tranquilo. Bien light, modo, ¿verdad? Risa, ¿verdad? Este, este está un poco, yo le puedo decir como quien dice más pesado, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero eso es bueno realmente, fíjese. Yo siento sí. que como que así se va uno aclimatando, acostumbrando sí. al inglés. Sí, y ya vas a ver, es posible que en otro módulo lo sintas hasta más tranquilo, aunque sea más avanzado. Es posible, pues. pero, sí. pero lo ideal es que no, lo ideal es que no, entonces, okay. ¿verdad? Así que dale Marlon, sí, yo siento que, como te dije en el módulo pasado, ya un par de meses ya vas a estar full power. Sí, hombre, gracias. ¿Verdad? Así ahí estamos, que, Tiche, y hombre, cualquier duda siempre lo voy a estar molestando. No, ahí, ahí estamos, ahí estamos. Ahí yo le respondo. Y aunque, como les he dicho, si está en otro módulo, cualquier cosa, me dice, hey, teacher, tal cosa, yo te puedo mandar un, un audio de unos dos minutos explicando, ¿verdad? Sin problema. ¿Okay? Excelente, teacher. Gracias. Excelente. Cuídate, mal. Nos vemos entonces. Good night. Good night.